Hello everyone. In this lesson, we will talk about the period and frequency of an object moving in a circle. The question is, why is this important? The reason I ask this question is because period and frequency are terms that are used to ask that are used often in cases that where we are talking about oscillating motion. But if you think about it, an object moving in a circle has a constant speed. That means that the time it takes for the object to move around the circle once is always constant. And that time is called the period. And if the period is constant, it means that the number of times, the number of oscillations, or the number of circles that an object could make per second is also constant. And we call that the frequency. Keep in mind, omega is equal to change in theta divided by change in t, or change in time, sorry. So if we have a circle of radius r, the time it takes for the object to go around the circle once is called the period. Now, when the object goes around the circle once, the total displacement, the total angular displacement of the object is 2 pi. In other words, when delta t is equal to the period, it implies that delta theta is equal to 2 pi radians. As a result, omega will be equal to 2 pi all divided by t. This is another formula to calculate the angular speed of an object moving around in a circle, where capital T represents the period of motion of the object. That is the time it takes to go around the circle once. Another way we can express this is that the period T is equal to 2 pi all divided by omega. This is a very important formula that we will use over and over again over several topics in this course. Now, the next thing that I would like for us to talk about is the frequency. The frequency small f, measured in hertz, is defined as the number of circles that particular object can make per second. In other words, the frequency is therefore equal to 1, the reciprocal of the period. So, f will be equal to omega over 2 pi. Before we go, here's the thing. Omega is measured in radians per second, period is measured in seconds, and frequency is measured in hertz, which is just equivalent to one over seconds. And therefore, it is my wish that you understand these things because they will repeat themselves over and over, over several chapters. Um, in this course. Thank you so much and uh, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.